Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the House Code Gamer. It is time for Fluid Dynamics. We're going into fluidic space. The Borg have pissed off the Undine. My job is to get them out of there. Joining us will be the USS Voyager, commanded by Tuvok. Because Janeway is stuck at Starfleet Command, due to the fact that she is a very controversial figure. Let's avoid fighting the Undine. The only people we really need to fight are the Borg. And I'm flying around a new escort. Well, new for you. The Phantom Class. One of the intelligence ships. Very nice. And yes, that little icon at the bottom is the Kobayashi Maru. It's because I needed to dump a few things into my bank. Just ignore it. Welcome to the CUDA system. I am Admiral Tuvok of the USS Voyager. I will provide tactical assistance on this mission. Yeah, I've watched all seven seasons of Voyager. Yeah. Controversial ship. Influential, but very controversial. Thank you. Your meteoric rise through the ranks is well known to me as well. Sensors indicate the division between normal and fluidic space is thinner here, making crossing much easier. The Undine have used this location in the past. We will use it now. The majority of the fleet will remain here to protect this area. Our team will enter fluidic space, locate, and then survey the Borg presence there. If possible, we will destroy it. When you are ready, Voyager will open the Singularity. Do it. Do it. Well, that's a lot of ships. Oh look, Kim is there too, because he commands the Rhode Island. I hate this mission for the simple reason of fluidic space. We have made a successful transition into fluidic space. Unlike our own, this dimension is filled with an organic fluid. The main indigenous life form is species 8472. Sensors are detecting a Borg signature nearby. Your vessel will take the lead in the investigation. We will follow. Mind on the mission, Tavrel. We don't have time to study this phenomenon. And point of fact, I will be working on getting something that counteracts this phenomenon. I hate being pushed aside, drifting. Alright, let's scan this interplexing beacon, because that's exactly what it is. Space. This is something we are all very well aware of, thanks to Scorpion. Well, Scorpion Part 2. Seven of Nine was disconnected from the Collective. Scorpion is one of my favorite episodes of Voyager. For the simple reason of... We watch the boar get their asses kicked. Now, some people claim that Voyager, well, Janeway in particular, screwed up by allying herself with the Borg. Perhaps. But operating on then-current information, they naturally assumed 
hey, the Undine, species 8472, are invading our space instead of, oh, the Borg invaded our space, invaded their space. They pissed off the Undine. I believe that would be classified under military snafu. We've been examining the data on the interplexing beacons, and we believe we may have discovered a vulnerability in the Borg subspace carrier wave technology. If it's acceptable to you, I would like the Venture to remain here and run some tests while you investigate the signal. We may not get another opportunity. Okay, Simmons. Wait. Signal, signal, signal. This landmass is unique in fluidic space. It is not a planet by Starfleet definitions. If I had to categorize it, I would say it is similar to the coral reefs found in Earth's oceans. The ground itself is a framework for living creatures. Fascinating. We are detecting a number of ships in the area. Starfleet, Klingon Defense Force, Romulan Republic, even Ferengi and Cardassian. Most species from the Alpha and Beta quadrants appear to be represented. This is inconvenient. One would assume the Undine attacked us rather than the other way around, but this is a lot of starships. And I happen to know for a fact that they haven't been to fluidic space in a very long time. Wait a minute, Iconians? Well, that explains everything. The Iconians pissed off the Undine. By, convinc by convincing, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> by convincing them via false flag operations that we were attacking their space. This is not good. In a few months you will be. In a few weeks you will be. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, Borg STF. God, I really don't want to deal with Borg. Fortunately, now that I've done the first Borg ground STF, I'm gonna have to do the rest. Oh, Cooper. What the hell is he doing here? Uh, uh. I never should have come on this mission. I'm a scientist, not an explorer. Take me out of this awful place right now! The Borg attacked and we had to abandon ship. We were floating here, waiting, and then... Undine! They came out of nowhere! Tore through us like tissue paper! We shouldn't have invaded their space! They're so strong! We're weak! Please, take me out of here! You know, that sounds awfully suspicious. The weak will perish? Hmm? Uh, I don't know. It all happened so fast. She insisted on being the last one to leave the ship. I don't even know if she made it out alive. Now, can we leave? No. We have work to do. Just look at that. 
the Borg grafted a Unimatrix on top of... Uh-oh. That was a blaster beam. Blaster beam always means one thing. V'ger. Or at the very least, one of the Unimatrix command ships that looks a lot like V'ger. That just looks rough. I don't need more blaster beam. Please, no. Well, let's get this over with. Ugh. That thing looks very diseased. It's got Borg tumors growing out of it. Blech. Uh oh. Well. There's Mr. Blaster Beam. The Borg presence is much larger than we anticipated. Nevertheless, our orders are to remove as much of it as possible. Voyager will follow your lead. We're going in. Well, at least I have support. I'm still screwed. Is that a Borg Unimatrix? It's enormous! I admit that it is an impressive Diamond is jamming our deflector rays. We must destroy it before we can retreat. Must I deal with a diamond?
strong. decided to use two planet killers to kill that one Unimatrix command ship. Or that it took two Unimatrix command ships to kill it. It's not exactly easy killing one of those things. I'd know. It's not fun. We need to report to Starfleet Command immediately. We thought that the Undine were responding to a Borg incursion into their space, but it now appears that the Iconians, or some entity posing as them, has created false Alpha and Beta Quadrant ships and sent them into fluidic space. Clearly, the Undine attacked us because they thought we attacked them first. There is some good news. The spread of the Borg nanovirus has halted. And thanks to the doctor's research, we should be able to prevent future planets from being assimilated in this manner. The Borg will adapt in time, but we have also stopped them from transmitting the technique for undine assimilation to the collective. It is possible they could learn how to do so again. We will need to remain vigilant. I don't want them to learn again. <laughs> the Borg in fluidic space were forced to retreat and logic suggests it will be quite some time before they trouble the Undine again. The end of the Borg attacks in their home might stop the Undine advance into our space. But if the Iconians continued to trick Species 8472 with false incursions, they could decide to invade ours in retaliation. Voyager will take Dr. Cooper and the other survivors back to Earth. I suggest that we all confer with our fleet commanders to determine the next course of action. We have not seen the last of the Undine. Yes, I wish we had, though. Oops. Let's get the hell out of here. This will likely be one of the la- be one of only three times you get to see this ship. I have zero intention of keeping the Phantom around for too long. I have so many anti-proton cannons. That's just energy grits to me. House Goat Gaming, signing off.